All right, so today what we're going to be making is this really cool table here, and it's made with a new package called MM Table 2. I just stumbled upon it, and it's a really cool package that aims to be the ggplot2 for tables. So we're going to use kind of a ggplot2 syntax to create this table, and um, it's a pretty nice package so far um, that I've been checking it out. It leverages the GT package, which is another awesome table package that I love for creating really professional looking tables. So uh, we'll talk more about that in a second. First thing you need to do though, you need to sign up for the weekly R tips if you haven't done so already to get set up for this. That's going to give you access to our GitHub repo. You're going to do a Git pull and it should pull down the, uh, if I refresh this, it should pull down 034 mm table 2 ggplot tables and this is what we're going to be working out of today this r file that's in here just click that open it up should open up this uh, file here and this is what we're going to get started um okay so to get started we need to load in some libraries and first you're probably going to have to install uh, the mm table 2 it's not on cran yet it's, again it's very very early on with this package uh, but it's really cool so run this line of code and um, install the mm table 2 package and then you'll be able to continue on with the tutorial um, i'm going to Control shift c comment that back out and then um, we're going to load the library so mm table 2 is the first library we're going to load uh, that's the main library we're going to be using today and then we're going to be also using the gt library which is what mm table 2 leverages um, G gt is a really amazing library for creating professional quality tables for reports uh, and then also the tidyverse for our data wrangling so uh, we're going to be using the mpg data set today and this is one that I've been using quite frequently in these tutorials. Um, it's the automobile manufacturers. We've got manufacturer model and so on. And what we're interested in doing is creating a table that looks like this, where we've got uh, all of the manufacturers, which is from this column uh, listed across the top. And then we've got the city uh, or highway. So that's these two columns here. And then in the uh, center of the table, we have some values, which is the average um, fuel economy by city and uh, highway and uh, one other column, which is the cylinder, which is a measure of the engine size. So um, what we're going to do, we're first going to need to do a little data wrangling. And I teach this in my 101 course. Uh, we're going to grab, we're going to first group by the manufacturer and cylinder columns. So that gives us 32 different groups. We're going to summarize across these two columns um, using the summarize and across follow functions and the mean. Uh, we're going to take the mean of each of these columns. So that's going to create a table that looks like this. We still have some groups that are left over. We're going to ungroup and then we're going to make it tidy by pivoting it longer so uh, we can uh, have everything in a long format. So manufacturer, cylinder, fuel economy type and fuel economy the value so once we have it in this long format we're going to save it as data wrangled and next what we can do is once we have our data wrangled we can begin to use this kind of tidy format so if you're familiar with ggplot2 you know we could make a plot visualization like a heat map or something like that um, and this is the same kind of philosophy that mm table uses so you want it in long format and then what we'll do is we'll specify certain things down here um, so first thing i'm going to do actually this is another data wrangling step i'm going to take the fuel economy and i'm going to round it uh, this this way when it shows up in my plots it's not going to have you know a, a ton of uh, extra digits here and it's going to be more readable um, the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to start my mm table so when I run this, it creates just a blank table over here um, and it's just got the values in here. So the values that I've specified, which is for my table data, comes from this fuel economy column. And then I've given the table a name. Now that name doesn't show up anywhere. That's actually metadata that gets tracked because um, you can actually add different tables together using patchwork syntax and these table names will uh, populate. But um, that's kind of a, an adva more advanced thing. Um, the next thing that we're going to do, we're going to specify some of kind of the layout of the table. So I'm going to do a header on the left of cylinder. 
and I'm going to just hit control enter. And what that will do is it puts the cylinder now on the left hand side. And then I'm going to be left top, which adds another um, a level over here of fuel economy type control enter. And what this does is uh, it adds the city in here. Um, so this is cool. I've got the city and highway in here. Now it doesn't look very attractive because we need to kind of pivot it uh, a little bit wider. And that's what this header top is going to do. So when I add the manufacturer in here, that is going to totally change the, the layout. And the cool thing is, is you can adjust the um, kind of the order of these. So if I ju just do this one first, uh, and you can, can see how the table kind of modifies um, as you uh, as you add certain things. So here, uh, when I do header left, we can do the cylinders and it's going to break it out by the cylinder. And then when I do the header left top, it's going to basically be a pivot table, um, city, highway, and so on. Um, so very cool. Uh, and this is the ggplot2 style of syntax. Then we're going to do some formatting. So when you format, uh, what this does is it leverages the D GT uh, style of formatting. So I'm going to specify for the manufacturer. I want to do a text transform, uh, or yeah, the cell text, and I want to capitalize it. So that's what this part's going to do here. Control enter. And then now all of our text is capitalized. And then this is additional uh, formatting. So I'm going to be doing uppercase for the city and highway um, by modifying the fuel economy type. And then the table format, um, I'm going to add some borders here, right, right here above to separate these two groups. So when I do that, I'm going to save it as main table. Uh, whoops, uh, control enter and then um, I'm going to output this then once I've saved it as an object. Um, and then now we've got our table saved here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one third step. I'm going to actually take that main table because if you go to your environment, this uh, main table, it's actually a uh, MM table, but also a GT uh, table. So it still um, allows us to use some of the GT functionality. And what I'm going to do is add a tab header, uh, which is a table header function from GT. And I'm going to give it a title and a subtitle. So this does not use the plus syntax. This uses the piping. So uh, we're going to do control enter. And this will finalize our plot. Um, or our table. So now we've got a really professional looking table and not a whole lot of lines of code. And you can totally customize this any way you want just by switching up the way the, these headers are. Um, so definitely check out this package. It's really cool. Um, and if you're interested in learning R more, I've got my R courses and I'll give the details in the video notes. So see you next time. Bye.